going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you how to create a very, very simple flicker transition. What really sets this transition apart is the actual sound effects. So if I go back here, I'm only going to play a little bit of the audio just because of copyright, but just so you guys can get an idea of what this is. So this is the unedited version. This is just directly from the clip. So I'm going to push play. <laughs> So that right there is the um, effects there. It's very simple to do. And I got this request from one of you guys on Instagram. So be sure to follow me on Instagram if you don't already. It's King Tuts Pro. And also be sure to visit my store where I do sell my transition and effects packs along with LUTs. So you guys save a bunch, a bunch of time. So links in the description along as well as the top of this video here on the top right. Um, there's going to be a card there so you guys can visit the site. But anyways, what you want to do here is, of course, get the sound effects. So you can go on YouTube or Google and just type up like gunshots or if that's too extreme, just look something up uh, that's a little bit different. But something that has like a beat, like, all you know, audibly cut, you know, your clip to. So in this case, we're going to be using um, these, these gunshots. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I already made my cut here, just press command B. And then command B, of course, you're going to have your own sound effect, so you don't really have to do this. But just import the sound effect as a normal clip into Final Cut Pro. And what you're going to do is once you've downloaded a sound effect, you just import it as a normal clip. So you just click and drag like like this, like <laughs> like this. OK, and then what you're going to do is you're going to I'm, I'm going to use this just because um, I don't have the sound effect. I'm just going to use it from this clip here. Uh, as a demonstration. So I'm going to go over to detach audio. So here we have the sound effect. I'm going to rename this clip here to sound effect like that. So we know what it is. And we're going to go to another area. Now I'm going to have to mute this because I don't want to get copyright striked here. So what you want to do is add the sound effect to wherever you want to create a transition to. So ideally though, you want this to kind of make sense. So if you notice here, the shot actually gets closer to her face, uh, which is a kind of nice little break from just a normal shot. So this could be a cool area to add the sound effect to. After this shot, I'm going to go here, press command B and go to where it begins about here, press command B. And this is, yeah, almost two seconds long, but we can play around with the sound effect, make it go faster or not. So we're going to drag this over here and you're going to see, yep. Uh, we're going to have to make this a lot faster, or we can cut it out. Um, but I'm going to push play. And we're only going to use, let's use the first bit. There we go. That could work. And right there, I'm going to re-enable the snapping here. So it snaps to that. Perfect. So I push play. And what I'm going to do from there is pretty much cut where there's every shot that you hear, you're gonna make a cut on the clip. So you're gonna select the clip, and right here, you can also see the peaks here. So right where it dips, you're gonna make a cut. So press Command B, and you're gonna do the same thing here. Now, you can pace it with using exact keyframes, but pressing right on the, on the arrow key on your keyboard. So go like, say, one, two, and then one, two, uh, press Command B, and then one, two, you can do that also, or you can go based off of the audio wave, uh, but I'm gonna do this for now. And I think that's fine there. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total clips here. So just so you guys can, so it's eight cuts pretty much. So what we're gonna do is uh, on the first one, we're gonna disable the clip and then we're gonna go maybe this one. We're gonna turn off every other clip by pressing V on the keyboard. So it's just the letter V, and we're gonna see what that looks like. That looks pretty cool. So yeah, it looks pretty close. So if I go back to the clip here, I'm gonna zoom out. I mean, this one's longer, this clip is longer, so it kind of makes more sense with the pace of the gunshots, but we're gonna do like something like this maybe, let's see. It's because the gunshots go really quick, so you can play around with whatever you think looks the best. Okay, that's the best. That's perfect right there. So you just have to play around with the timing of these. So maybe enabling one clip and disabling the other. Uh, cool thing is the cool thing about this is that you can really make this customizable and play it, play around to get this exact. So you don't really have to move clips anywhere, um, which is the best part about this. So now. 
if we go back and push play, you know, let's pretend that the music's playing here and you added the gunshots. And here, maybe for this clip here, actually, we'll go with the second one. We're gonna zoom this one up a little bit so you can scale it up like that. So now it kind of goes like this, like that. And then this third one here is gonna zoom up a lot closer to this here. So we can kind of draw emphasis to the actual shot, uh, the car scene here, and then it kind of transitions to this next clip. So if I push play, looks just like that. This would of course have to be much longer of a scene, but I'm just working with what I have now. But ideally, if you're gonna be using this, you wanna make this at least three seconds. So it kind of stays here. If you guys do enjoy this video, please, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and turning on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video. And comment down below any other video ideas uh, or just DM them to me on Instagram. Also, again, be sure to visit my store where I do sell, uh, you know, Final Cut Pro 10 and Premiere Pro um, transitions and effects for LUTs and LUTs, I should say. So check it out. Doesn't take more than, you know, couple of seconds to click <laughs> links in the description but with that being said i'll catch you on my next video until then peace out